How will these overnight queues impact our own markets? We have our research team joining in with what the trade setup looks like, the stocks that are likely to be in the news and the action from the FNO space as well. Hey guys, a very good morning to all of you. Happy Monday. It's going to be a busy week for sure. But Hormaz, let's talk about all the queues that we need to keep on our radar today. Morning, Sonal, and the good part is that it's a truncated week. Ah, yeah. So even if it's a busy Monday, <laughs> we'll take that as a bargain. But coming back to the markets, though, it was a slightly lower session on Friday, but we were up for five straight days. So a bit of a breather that the Nifty has taken as of Friday's trading session. We recovered almost around 600 to 700 points through the course of last week from last Friday's low, which was 21777. And 22600 is now a barrier for the index because Thursday and Friday's high were similar, almost around the 22620 to 625 mark we reached those levels we couldn't sustain above them but then we uh, we corrected from those levels as well but the good part is that the index is making higher highs across throughout last week started off at around 22 300 then went to 22 400 then 500 and eventually now 22 600 is the latest barrier for the nifty the institutional selling continued from the foreign investors desk then fis were heavy sellers all through the week, but the domestic institutions continued to offset that losses. Domestic institutions have bought nearly 40,000 crores worth of equities in the month of April. So that is a good bid. The market though is making one thing very clear, that good earnings and management commentary is getting disproportionately rewarded as we saw in the case of Tech Mahindra on Friday. The earnings may have been okay, but the management commentary was good. But on the flip side, the slightest error and is getting punished. And we saw that in the case of Bajaj Finance when it came to management commentary as well. We can see similar reactions in today's session as well from ICICI Bank and HCL Tech, some earnings reactions, uh, Yes Bank and RBL as well. And all eyes on the globe will be on the Fed, the Fed meet outcome this week. The gift nifty as we speak is indicating a gap up start for our own markets. Back to you. It is and it's going to be an earnings heavy week yet again. Thank you Hormas for all those cues. But let me go across to Wamakshi. We spoke about certain stocks. She has the entire list. Good morning. Well, good morning, Sona. Let me first start off with Maruti. The company reported its numbers and revenue saw an uptick of almost 19.3%. Margins have expanded on a year-on-year basis to 12.2%, while net profit has come in nearly 48% higher. But nevertheless, it is a mixed bag as far as the consensus estimates is concerned. ICICI Bank, the numbers have beaten the poll. NII is up nearly 8.1%. The net profit has managed to rise by 17.4%. HCL Tech has reported numbers below estimates. The CC revenue growth came in as 0.3% as compared to our poll of 0.4%. Uh, margins have contracted sequentially to 17.6% and as far as FY24 guidance is, uh, it's coming at 3 to 5% growth on a year-on-year -year basis uh, as compared to our poll of nearly 5 to 7%. Shakti pumps a strong set of numbers from this counter. Net profit has risen from just 2 crores to 90 odd crores. Margins have also expanded uh, from 6% to 21.5%. SBFC Finance, AUM is, is seeing an uptick of almost 38% year on year net interest income has managed to rise by 53 percent and the NIMS have also expanded for this counter both on a year on year as well as sequential basis. Apollo Hospitals, Apollo Health Co is expected to raise nearly 2,475 crores from PE firm Advent. They will be merging Kaimed, promoter who owned wholesale farmer distribution business over the next 24 to 30 months. Irida will also be uh, another stock that we will be watching out for and that is because the company has been granted the Navratna status from uh, the Department of Public public enterprises. Okay, all right. So that is the list of stocks in focus. Thank you so much for that, Vamakshi. Finally, Sudarshan is joining in with all the cues from the FNO space. Hey, morning, Sudarshan. Morning, Sudarshan. So first of the May series saw some cool off with Nifty and Nifty Bank reversing some of their previous days gains. But it's not much of a concern as mid-cap index has scaled fresh record high. Talking about the flows in the cash market, FI sold shares of nearly rupees 3,500 crore and DIS bought nearly rupees 4,400 crore worth shares. But if you look at the index future, on the very first day of the series, FI sold shares of rupees 2,000 crore and they have added around 22,000 longs and against that, they have added shorts of more than 68,000. So what it does is, FIs had started this series with their long exposure at 39% and 53,000 net short contacts. But because of them selling shares of rupees 2,000 crore on the very first day of the series, their long exposure has now dropped to 35% and net short contacts nearly doubled to 1 lakh. This is important as it tells us that if market does not fall much, FIs will, FIs will be left with no options but to cover their positions. 
If you look, look at the options data, it does reflect some congestion on the way up. 22,500 call has seen some writing with premium currently around 125 and even 22,700 call has seen some writing for which the premium is currently at 48. So people writing 22,500 call is expecting resistance around 22,650 and those who are writing 22,700 call is expecting resistance around the record high levels or say 22,750. On the way down, support for Nifty is around 20-day moving average of 22,400 and if it breaches that level, next support is 50-day moving average of 22,235. Uh, 22, and for Nifty Bank 2, the support is a 20-day moving average of 47,940. Okay, alright. Thank you guys for joining us and prepping us up for this trading day ahead.